I didn't get a chance to meet the oh. real women ahead of time, huh. which was really hard for mm. me because yeah. creatively I would have loved to have heard every detail. I think the truth is stranger than fiction, but mm. I had the article to work from, and so I felt a responsibility to what really happened and the crimes themselves. I didn't want to water them down, but I felt a little bit of freedom when it came to the characters because we're trying to just tell a, a story, tell a, tell the movie version of it. So the two characters that it, uh, they form a friendship and it's kind of a love story between the two of them. And in reality, they were more like business partners. Oh. So I had to add a lot to the, the characters and, and the relationship, but as far as the crime itself, the punishment and, and kind of what went down. I, Did I you go into strip that. clubs and do sure, research? Sure, yeah. And what surprised you about that world? Oh, just the, um, you know, there's no job security for these women. They're not employees of these clubs. They pay house fees. They tip everybody out. So the difference between a good night and a bad night is is a lot. Mm -hmm. It's how much you go home with. It's not necessarily did you have a great interaction with someone or a bad interaction. I mean, certainly there's there's a lot to deal with in, in that way. Mm -hmm. But um, the structure of it, the camaraderie between the women, um, you know, there's there's obviously some competition, but they really are also, you know, they work in pairs and, and mm -hmm. teams. It's it's much more lucrative. Did you like them? I like them a lot. Mm. I. I feel a real kinship to them. I, I've danced for the money, <laughs> um, I'm dancing right now. So um, yeah, I, I, I did like them and I, I heard so many different experiences. I think that's the beautiful part of it is mm. that you can talk to so many different women who are having the time of their lives. This job provides incredible freedom. They work for a month, they go take their band on the road and other girls who you know are, escaped a bad relationship and. Um, you know, it's, it's, it, for some people it's transitional, you know, and for other people it's, it's where they are. And so um, it was incredibly enlightening to, to speak to them. I love the class elements and your ability to capture so many of those things. Was, was, was that a matter of hanging out with them or did, had you had some interaction with people from, from that part of the boroughs in Long Island before? Or? Yeah, I mean, I grew up in New Jersey, so right. um, I felt like I grew up with these guys, I grew up with these girls. I worked in a boiler room when right, I was okay. like oh, yeah. 18, yeah. Wow. <laughs> just like doing secretarial work, but um, it was really just a off, off Wall Street, <laughs> northern right. New Jersey, a room full of phones that guys are selling bad stocks to old people. and. My mom worked there for a time. A guy said he was going to hit her in the head with a baseball bat. And wow. the bosses said, bottom line, can you keep working with him? Because he's bringing in the money and wow. you're just typing stuff into a computer. So, yeah, it was remarkable. But there was another guy who was on a headset for six months talking to nobody. He was losing his mind. Oh, wow. wow. So it was wow. really like... <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that. I can identify. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Hustlers, I wrote the scene where the two of them meet first. I wrote the scene where Jennifer Lopez's character wraps Constance Wu's character in a, oh. in a fur coat. And uh, that was the first scene that I wrote and uh, the last thing we shot, of course. And um, mm -hmm. but um, That's a great scene. It's very um, much yeah. their relationship, too. Yeah, I thought that, that immediate intimacy, especially because mm -hmm. you've seen this character, uh, Destiny, um, she's grappling with loneliness and isolation and, and at this new place and doesn't have physical contact with any of these girls and um, has physical contact with men, obviously, and strangers. And I think that kind of intimacy that women have immediately mm -hmm. <laughs> was very exciting to me to, to, to show that, um, that mother-daughter relationship. When you write, what's the toughest part of the writing for you? What do you struggle with? Writing is an exercise in empathy, so... Uh, for me, I, that's that's always my approach. So I, I tend to prefer characters that I don't necessarily agree with, and I like making them convince me a little bit. Um, so um, I don't know what I find the toughest part. Probably just, uh, what, act two? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Oh, hi there. Hi, I'm Casey Lemons. I'm Charles Randolph. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching the Hollywood Reporter Roundtable on YouTube. On YouTube. <laughs>